This is the Bulgarian Riviera, the western coast of the Black Sea. This coastline stretches from the border with Romania to the border with Turkey and it is 378 kilometers long. We are going to explore it completely from the north to south and we will visit most of the interesting points on the way. Follow us in this trip and subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon. We proceed on our route to one of the most significant places on the Bulgarian Riviera. This is Cape Kaliakra, a place with important geographical and historical value. The Cape forms a large bay dividing the northernmost coastline of Bulgaria from the rest of the Bulgarian Riviera. It is not just a cape, but also a small peninsula. While the sea east of it is stormy, west of the cape is quiet. Cape Kaliakra has about 2400 years of history. The ancient Thracians built the first fortress on it. This fortress was renewed and extended by the Romans. During the early medieval times the fortress was abandoned, but in the 14th century the rulers of Carvuna Principality made it a capital of their despotate until the coming of the Ottoman Turks. A legend says that 40 Bulgarian maidens tied their hairs and jumped from the cliffs into the sea while trying to escape from the Turks. Today, many of the historical remains are preserved and restored here. There is a meteorological and military station and a tourist part with a restaurant, a museum and panoramic spots for photos. After Kaliakra, we pass by the wind generators on the plane and arrive to Bulgarevo village. There is a former interactive museum presenting the whole Bulgarian history. Although it doesn't work, its host is here and invites us to the museum. We spend the night beside the wind generators in a tent. The morning is fresh and cool and we proceed on our way. The first places we visit are called Zelenka and Dubkata.
There is a nice restaurant for seafood in Dubkata, one of the best in Bulgaria, located in a place with beautiful views. Our next stop is Kavarna, the first larger city on the Bulgarian Riviera. In recent years it was a rock music center, a place for rock festivals where many world famous rock bands have played. We go to its sea coast. There is a nice beach and a tall cliff over the beach. I climb to the top of the cliff. There is a fortress here called Bizone. It is built by ancient Greek colonists and its remains still can be seen. There is a spectacular view from the top of the cliff and the fortress, to the beach and Cape Kaliakra in the distance. We proceed on our route to Topola village, located on the plateau above the sea. Here is one of the largest amusement parks in Bulgaria. It includes a lot of water playgrounds. Here you can also enjoy horse riding. We descend from the plateau to the sea coast. This is a modern resort known as Thracian Cliffs, one of the largest golf complexes in Bulgaria. There is a Thracian Cliffs lake and many luxury hotels around it. We proceed westward to another resort. It is located in a place called Ikantalaka, also known as White Lagoon. There is a nice beach in the area and a lot of luxury family hotels and places for camping. The next point on our route is Tuzlata. There is a small lake beside the sea beach used for mud baths. We arrive in the next city on our route. This is Bauchik, a very important place in the Bulgarian Riviera. First we go to enjoy the beach. The beach is short but white, with fine sand full of people in summer. After the beach, we go up to the old part of the city. Here we can see some beautiful houses in traditional architectural style. Some of them turned into museums. Then we ascend to the plateau over the city. Here we see the remains of the early medieval fortress Karvuna. It was an important city during the first Bulgarian Empire.
Finally we descend back to the sea coast and we visit the most iconic place in Bauchik. This is the Bauchik Palace. Actually this is a large complex created in the first half of the 20th century. It includes not only a palace but also a beautiful botanical garden. The whole place is like a park with many other buildings. Here is the palace. It is built for the Romanian queen when this area was a part of Romania between the two world wars. The palace is small and today is turned into a museum. In its rooms we can see how the life of the queen looked like and many other artifacts from this period. The palace is built beside a beautiful beach where people today can enjoy the sea. The next section of the Bulgarian Riviera is the area of Varna, the largest coastal city in Bulgaria. This time we skip it quickly, but two months later we back especially to explore Varna and its surroundings following the coastline in this video series. Subscribe to our channel Journey Beyond the Horizon for more video journeys.